Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce you a new update of the Oxygen OS 13 which is Oxygen OS 13.1 on OnePlus 10 Pro. It's based on Android 13 and the current version, it's uh, official uh, European version, the EU version for NE2213 and the version is 13.1.0.521x01 uh, Currently uh, for June 2023 it's the latest version available for OnePlus 10 Pro and in general it's one of the latest version for all the OnePlus uh, brand basically let's see let's check it out what are the major updates what are the changes and what we can compare here so let's go one by one basically uh, we already on about settings so just want to hear it on the line it was available in previous version but just want to show you the RAM expansion uh, option that you can expand your memory from 4 up to 12 gigabytes so i've got 12 gigabytes meaning that the limit for me is 12 if you've got 8 gigabytes you can extend your memory or expand uh, make memory expansion uh, up to 8 gigabytes so after you enable this option you need to restart your phone and it will use your storage actually for my i have 256 gigabytes uh, all right, let's move on. Wi-Fi. Actually, here it's a Wi-Fi assistant. Uh, also, actually, still same as in previous version. Uh, you've got some settings here. Wi-Fi status, display, bandwidth model, Wi-Fi version number. It was before Wi-Fi data usage. So not much changes here. Uh, let's move on. So mobile network I will not touch for this time. Bluetooth uh, for Bluetooth. I don't think there are some changes in Bluetooth. Uh, visible to other device button appeared here. I, I disabled actually all the other settings for before here. Connection and sharing. So here advanced screencast is available. Actually, it's not uh, shown here, but you can uh, connect your device, your phone to your laptop. It should be special option here, uh, but it's not visible. It's visible only when you connect your uh, screen, already connect, I mean, to your to this device that can accept it. Uh, all right, let's move on. Print quick device connection was here. Wallpaper and style. Um, some maybe some small adjustments. Wow, oh, all right, now you can adjust featured colors and wallpaper colors, which is not much changes actually for this quick settings, still same, but actually, yeah, quick settings uh, logos changed a bit, adjusted, uh, it become a bit different style. Also, the top one here before we've got uh, four. Uh, big uh, rectangles now it's only two available and all the others are small and if you click edit tiles you will see some more options but here is actually also not much change only if you move it here so for example bluetooth with mobile data it become big uh, all right so for tiles actually that's it all the other options are working as before um, Okay, I'll put back Wi-Fi uh, like this. Uh, all right, so let's move on here. Always on display, uh, personalized. It was before. System provided. Uh, yeah, some two more. Realme. I don't know why they added Realme, but yeah, that's what they done. They added Realme one and uh, Edge clock as well. So those two are new. Uh, also for always on display you've got same settings actually not much changes as well from this side home screen and lock screen so let's go one by one I can pull gesture was here before double taps why price to week uh, lock screen shortcuts oh, lock screen shortcuts okay it was here recent task manager uh, no changes display uh, so of course they improved a bit uh, the dark mode, uh, actually I've scheduled, uh, screen color mode still same as before, display size, video color boost, all this was available before, they just redesigned a bit settings and actually that's it. 
screen refresh rate, screen resolution, full screen for apps, nothing here. Uh, sound and vibration, yeah, of course they changed a bit the logos, they adjusted it a bit, but still the, it's same as in previous version, so it's just some minor corrections. The main point that OnePlus wanted to emphasize here is that you can use it together with your laptop. That's actually it. Special sound, actually it was not here before, I think it was Dolby Atmos was here. Uh, but okay let's see more default device also don't remember this option haptic and tones so rise it just readjusted it a bit uh, but this uh, special audio so basically this rendering technology and head tracking technology are used to immerse you in an environment with sounds that uh, surrounds you and when you listen to music okay it's Maybe a nice option, but no options available here. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, notification status bar. Status bar. Mm, I don't see any changes from this side. Uh, more settings. Bubbles, notifications, snoozing, reduce notification feedback. All the settings same. Uh, those I will skip. I don't think that there are much visible updates available. Um, actually, majority of updates is just some fixing, some adjustments, uh, some better look, uh, and etc. Then space, yes, yeah, in space, for example, they added uh, light, then they added deep, then like two options with a deep, then. Uh, you will be only able to receive calls and emergency calls and light then you will be selected apps can still be used so this one yes yeah, they made even separate apps for the zen that is available all the others are same digital well-being i don't use it something from google uh, screenshot otg connection system services don't remember this enhanced intelligence to improve the user experience for 2021 based on how Mm. All right, let's try this feature. <laughs> I don't know what this uh, screenshot. Yeah, just settings. Everything was available even in previous version. So overall, it's just uh, yeah, it's just regular one. Not that much uh, changes from yes. Yeah, here is this O oh, relax mode, a new one that you can listen some. Yeah, you can actually select uh, some video with some music, some RC shore and relax for some time. That's what they added. But actually in space, as I showed you, it's updated. Actually, not much changes in total. In total, everything more or less still same. It brings you some, um, like, let's say, not that huge updates. And let's see even what's shown here about this version so it shows you that some health improvement gaming improvement uh, and actually that's it yeah lights and dips and that's all shown here is that what they adjusted some camera improvement of course uh, but yeah now camera is disabled i have installed actually camera from the oneplus 11 maybe i will show you this in the next uh, video but uh, also there are not much changes only some minor improvements yet yeah, works a bit better as i as i see some changes of the icons but in general still same camera as before so you will not feel that much difference all right basically from the review itself that's pretty much it if you have any question about oxygen os 13.1 leave them in the comments below uh, put a thumbs up and see you next time